in the late 70s through the 90s, BMW commissioned a whole bunch of different artists to turn their cars into canvases. I've always wanted one, but they're like a million bucks, so I can't have one. That's why my friend Tristan right here, this is Tristan Eaton, he's an artist and a very good one. Thank you. That. And I asked him to help me create my very own mini art car, and he agreed. So before we get to work on the car, which he's got great designs for, let's cut over to his studio and show you exactly what he does. Here we are inside Thunderdog Studios with Tristan Eaton, What's up? the artist who is going to help me uh, realize my vision. Now, I met Tristan at the New York Auto Show. He was painting the roof of a Ford Flex, and you actually did a few of those, right? Uh, six total, actually. Yeah, and where are those things, anyway? Uh, traveling around the country right now. Oh, I did uh, three in Chicago, three in New York. Sweet. Yep. So, you know, I, I showed him the M1 and the, the multiple BMW art cars, and, and I sort of asked him for, for some suggestions as to what to do with my Mini, because I always wanted one of these art cars. And, uh, and But your, your background is really designing other things. Right. So what do you normally design? Uh, everything across the board. Um, Thunder Rock Studios is a creative agency, so we design for any medium. And mm -hmm. over the years, that's taken us to painting motorcycles or designing ad campaigns or designing toys, anything across the board. And you, you made all these toys right here, yeah? Yeah, that's right. We were the head designers for uh, Kid Robot, the toy company. I don't know if anyone's heard of that, but uh, we designed all their toys and then went a little more black market and make our toys yeah. that you see behind us. How does that relate to doing artwork on cars? Uh, a lot of ways. Um, the similarities I found were that <clears throat> in both cases you're taking a 2D graphic and uh, redesigning it and applying it to a 3D form. Okay. So when I used to paint motorcycles, the key was to design a graphic that you could see at 60 miles an hour when it zooms by you. Yeah. And still be able to make it out from like 100 yards away and know what that graphic is. Yeah. You've got some renderings here of what you think the mini should look like. That's right. And this, this stuff right here is nuts. It's and so. Crazy. But we're, we're using, this is not going to be painted on, no. and that's for two reasons. You want to explain what the reasons are for that? Uh, well, one, for impact, we decided to go for um, reflective vinyl. The car itself is a, a dark kind of metallic gray, so we went with the reflective white and reflective black vinyl just to make it absolutely bananas. So like with this black, during the day it's black, Yeah. but at night if you shine a light on it, All it, kinds just, of it just turns crazy colors. Completely. Like, yeah. like iridescent paint on Completely. Them. And, yeah. the, and what, how does the white look if you shine light on it? The white goes extreme silver. Okay. Bright light silver. I mean, it looks like you're looking into a halogen bulb. So essentially, this will be the most obnoxious mini <laughs> ever made. Hi, this is Jaji, the wingy 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 wing wing from Rough Riders. I'm here with my boy Matt in Garage 419. We're doing your art on my car. It is shop. That's right. How, how does that relate? Uh, well, Scott and I met each other like in about 90, 1998, I think, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And yep. Scott taught me how to paint motorcycles back then. Oh, so that's the education. Here. That's right. So okay. we, since then, we've been uh, art collaborators for 10 years now, I think. Right. Yeah. So uh, I learned how to uh, use a spray booth and vinyl, and I just went off from that. I mean, yeah. Scott was like, oh, shit. And I just started using vinyl all the time and going crazy. The vinyl, the illustrator, and the, the, the growth of computers and yeah. Ashman yeah. helping to teach us how to you know, get that all popping. Right. And actually, didn't you do the reflective vinyl on their bike? I did. It was a Kawasaki ZX-6. Yep. And uh, it was all red. We did uh, reflective black and reflective yellow. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is hot. This is it. This is the acid donk right here. Hand painted. It's crazy. The full Miami landscape on that. Hand painted, no reference, all from the mine. Nuts. Uh, you know, interactive, reflective in, inside the paint. Sick. Both inches thick. So, uh, candy apple. Just everything. Yeah. Just everything sparkles. The work. And what size are those wheels oh, for the record? 26. 26 is in man look at this street dude this is a, on cobblestone rocking 26s that's right and well we only drive this car in miami so uh, it's, 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 a, it's a flatbed queen up in new york no it, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll drive it across the bridge are you telling are you telling my fortune i see a titty right <laughs> <laughs> ah matt you're right <laughs> Welcome to the 
Garage 419. Garage 419. New episodes of Garage 419 Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah!